Hey guys, guess what I have today? Beauty and the Beast, one of the best Audi RS class available in the market that you can get. This 2014 Audi RS7 comes in auto gray exterior color. The RS7 comes in a single well equipped trim level. Standard features include full LED exterior lighting and adaptive air suspension. 20 inch wheel, but this particular model comes with an upgraded 21 inch fast spoke blade design wheel, a sport differential, a sunroof, keyless ignition and entry system, heated auto dimming and folding mirrors, front and rear parking sensors, a power hatchback, a rear end collision warning system, and a blind spot monitoring system. The RS7 is developed and assembled by Quattro GmbH. Audi's Boundary Pushing Performance Division and is the most powerful RS available in the United States. From the total ground produced by the 4 liter TFSI V8 engine down to the carbon optic package that accents the exterior, the RS7 is built with one go above all. To thrill. Up front, you see the signature LED lightning technology that designed exclusively for the RS7. All the LED lightning technology produces light at 5500 Kelvin. That's roughly the same as daylight. And the Audi LED daytime running lights elevate style and increase visibility. No matter what time you're driving, the resulting style is unmistakably Audi. There you can see the retractable headlight washer, park assist and the fog light built into the front bumper. The RS7 carbon optic package includes the signature single frame grille in high gloss black, front spoiler, intact flaps, and front blades. And here's the front camera. This particular model comes with an upgraded option, the 21 inch 5 spoke blade design wheels with ventilated front brake disc and a large black brake caliber finished in high gloss black with RS7 lettering on it. Really nice. Side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light. Very nice exterior color. And here's the look at the rear wheel. Here is the high gloss black roof spoiler with integrated LED brake light. And here's the LED tail lamp, LED brake lamp, and LED turn signal lamp with the RS7 badge. At the bottom, you see the black rear diffuser with dual chrome tip exhaust. Here is your backup camera. You can leave all your stuff here if you like. Back bumper also comes with a park assist built into the back bumper. The RS7 does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, put your hand on the door handle to unlock. The interior features full black leather seats with white contrast stitching, black on the dash and the door panels with carbon fiber and aluminum accenting trim throughout the car. Very nice. 2 position memory sitting and a lock and unlock button. Alright, let's pop the hood. Under the hood is a massive 4 liter turbocharged TFSI V8 engine that cranks out undeniable raw power, pushing out 560 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 516 pound feet of torque. 32 valve DOHC with variable valve timing can hit from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Top track speed is limited to 174 mph in the US. Very impressive. 
EPA estimated fuel economy is 16 CD, 27 highway, and 19 combined. All four windows are fully automatic. And that's the trunk opener. Both surround sound speaker. RS7 illuminated dot seal. That's the pedal. Both driver and passenger get 12-way power front seats, including 4-way power lumbar adjustment. And the seats are made from Valkana leather seats with contrast honeycomb stitching. Here's a closer look at the stitching and the seat. Very nice. RS7 sport seat. Very luxurious interior. The three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in perforated leather. Feels really nice. With white contrast stitching. Or S7 badge. And aluminum silver accenting trim. With multi function control side by side for your convenience. And the steering wheel does feature tilt and telescopic steering column with paddle shifter. Here's the look at the gauge with chrome trim all around, driver side air vent, light controlled. That's the heads up display. There you can see the double air vent and the carbon fiber trimmed. Looks and feel really nice. Retractable LCD screen right there. Once you start up the car, it will retract automatically. Multimedia controlled. Dual climate controlled. Here's the ashtray or storage compartment. And here's the specific RS7 gearbox. It is wrapped in leather with white stitching. That's your parking brake start and stop button volume controlled here at the center we have the touch pad the knob to control the screen you can move it up right down or left or press down to select and all the different function buttons dual cup holder for front passenger storage compartment and there's another storage compartment beneath that with a cigarette lighter and media interface cable. Glove box compartment. Alright, here's another look at the front door panel and the RS7 sport seat alright up here you see the sunroof tilt and sliding sunroof right here we have the universal garage door opener the LED lights, lights controlled one touch, close and open moon roof. Here's the sunglasses holder.
send via the mirror. All right, let's take a look at the back. The back is very spacious and offers seat for two adults. Rear seats can be folded in 60-40 split for an additional cargo space. And here at the rear door panel, we have the little ashtray. And the windows are fully automatic as well. All right, let's get in the car and see how the rear seats feel. And here's the look to the front cabins from the rear seat. Very nice. Here we have two air vents for the rear passenger. And dual climate control for the rear as well. Two 12 volt power outlet. Rear seat pocket. The back seat is very comfortable and offer a lot of leg rooms. I'm 5 feet 8 and I have a lot of leg rooms and head rooms. So for a taller individual, you'll be really comfortable in the back. And here we have the rear armrest with a storage compartment. And two cup holder. Here's a look to the back. Very nice seat. Rear light. Here is the lift back gate. Kind of have a hatchback look to it. The trunk is very spacious and offer 24.5 cubic feet of cargo space. And like I mentioned earlier, you can always fold down the rear seat for an additional cargo space. Very spacious. And this is where your spare tire are located. <laughs> One touch close button. The rear seat headroom is 36.6 inches and leg room is 37 inches and shoulder room is 55.9 inches. Overall, the 2014 Audi RS7 interior is typical Audi as it handsomely designed and tightly constructed with excellent material quality throughout. The RS7 is also equipped with Audi Connect Internet Suite which include in-car 3G Wi-Fi, Google Earth data for the navigation system, and simplify Google Earth for a point of interest. It sounds a bit over the top, but proved very handy for passengers. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to leave me a comment below telling me what you guys think about the RS7. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video reviews. I'll see you guys next time.